cuss words or the things which uh, offering center we have seen a huge opposition in Padmavad time how the historical movie was literally facing complete annihilation the director was beaten up so this ethos is very well established here and this is our social political milieu now Netflix obviously has unrestricted unhindered access to about 500 to 700 million smartphones now this number is going to penetrate it even more and with the higher digital penetration, you will see the contents coming in. Actually, the budget is going to be humongous for India because they want to see India as a great market. And one of the bases why Netflix is flourishing all over the world is basically the nature of unrestricted content which they can be monitored. So that's the basic premises why they are commercial model. There is no advertisement in between. So the commercial model is designed on the basis that they have a complete freedom of expression and can reach out. That is the basis why people are paying 500 rupees per month. So this is the one side of the cinematic liberty. The other side, Gauri, is like in many countries like in Syria, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Netflix, China, they have banned Netflix and they have also laid, a, I mean, penal provisions against people who are going to see Netflix there because it has been treated as blasphemous or anti-gods. So, you know, this is a very ethical debate right now. But, you know, what was happening is uh, Ministry of Information Broadcasting tried to enforce the self-censorship code on these people. They said you must have a self-regulation rather than we dictating and coercing you to cut this or blur this scene. You must go internal process and see that what is the country's milieu and accordingly you take a decision. We don't want to interfere in your work. But looks like now it is reaching to the flesh point and government might come out with some kind of heavy restrictions on them. So it is better for these people to shape up without compromising on the cinematic contents and the film stories. Like for example, the Kala which was thrown by, uh, by, by, uh, by Saif Ali. I think they could have dealt with that situation far more sensitively to the Sikh community. Even you can throw means, does not mean throwing will establish your uh, your 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 sentiments. A father had given to you, the Kola has not come from father. So such kind of, you know, such kind of object. What I'm trying to say is that there is a need for self-regulation. They need to be sensitive before they, they touch the flashpoint. Government comes heavily, other political parties, because India is not going to take things easy. And it is in the interest of the Netflix if they really want to enjoy the constant beaming out here rather than expecting any social backlash or political backlash.